Hi team, Bruce here from HeartFit with a workout today that is targeting your cardiovascular fitness, your huffy puffy heart health. So it doesn't matter whether you're 45 or 85, um, we should be, for our short and long term health, getting your heart rate up regularly, either through structured exercise or your daily or weekly activities. The heart rate increased is for your heart health, of course, brain health, helps you manage your weight. In managing your weight, you're reducing the risk of all chronic diseases, okay? So it's so important. Today, this workout can be done with low impact. What I mean is no jumping. You can add some jumping in. I'll give you the variations as you go. It is at your level, okay? So, and your heart rate. Generally speaking, 220 minus your age is your maximum heart rate. But in saying that, I recommend if you haven't been to the doctor, your doctor for the last 12 months, go and get your heart checked. If you're in the category um, which is a bit vulnerable, every six months, get a checkup. So make sure we can continue to do what you want to do, okay, and stay healthy for longer. Okay, so let's warm up. A bit of music to get ourselves warmed up. Let's start with it, just a march. Get ourselves physically and mentally ready to move your bodies. This session goes about 30 minutes. High knees. Swing your arms. Feeling good, the fact you've chosen to work out today. Because this is recorded, you can press pause. And this time, possibly, run right through it out. Up to you, your workout. Now, we go feet apart, hands up. Ceiling, hands release. Breathe in, breathe out. Boosting through your low back, hamstrings, and glutes. Just stretching it out. Slowly, gently. Breathe in, breathe out. Good. Now watch your swing. Let go of your lower back. You'll be swinging a golf club or a tennis racket. Swinging side to side. Transfer the weight left and right. Even look over your shoulder now as you lose that a little bit. Look, now, feet apart, knees bent. Side to side. Towards your opposite shoe, opposite toes. Side to side, hips out, bend the knees. Music's coming again. There you go. Good. On the spot, kick your heels back. Warm up our knee joints, hamstrings. Four rounds. The first two rounds has three exercises. The final two has two only. I'll show you the three exercises before each round. We'll roll through. Do some warm up squats, team. Just six only. Push those hips back as if you're sitting on a chair. Slowly stretching everything out. Loosening up those tight muscles, waking them up. Now six more, this time adding a high knee kick. The six, the three, breathing in, breathing out. Five, six, nice work. Now roll the shoulders back, upper body, get them moving. Nice deep breathing. If you have a suspect shoulder or two, just be gentle on it. Now lean forward slightly, come up and over. By the swimming butterfly stroke. Nice, good breathing. Good. 
and crisscross your arms, open the chest right up. Here, visualize squeezing those shoulder blades towards your spine. Good work. Good, okay, shake it out. I recommend having a bit of water with you, sipping on water during the session. We're going to get 15 second breaks in between every exercise and then after every round of about three minutes, you'll get a longer break about between a minute and 90 seconds where I'll show you in the time you're breathing and watching equipment. Guys, you could have today some light dumbbells, okay? You don't have to have them. Add them to the load, you can swap them out, put them back in when you want to, okay? The first three exercises are a punch with a step, punch and step, punch and step. Now if you want to add intensity, if you're able to, you can jump out as you punch out, okay? As I always say, jumping is fantastic for your body, bone density, muscles, heart rate is increased. But if you're not up to jumping through ankle, knee, hip issues, just step quickly and punch out. Number two is a standing star. Feet together, feet apart, touch up. Or, of course, you can add the jump in if you wish. During the rounds, I'll do a bit of both to encourage you, to show you. Then, number three this round, we start in this space in your area, we're going to step, step, do a star, a star, two steps. So two stars, you can jump, you can step, okay, up to yourself. That's a three. Okay, round one. 25 seconds on, 15 seconds rest. We're ready. The first one is our step and punch. Dumbbells optional. If you have them, add them in. We're ready? 25 seconds. Pick up those dumbbells if you have them now. Start with your feet together. Three, two, and go. Step and punch. Or jump out.
first round, two steps, two stars. And so do the second. Have a little rest, guys. Have some water. Sip on the water. <sighs> Stay hydrated. So, next three exercises I'll show you as you recover. We won't be going another one minute or so yet. So, the next three are all squat related, lower body. That strength and mobility is critical for us all. The first one, three options here. You may choose just to do a body weight squat. Look to do them quickly as you push your hips back, as you're sitting down. Options are to come up off your heels if you choose. Working through those ankles and calves. Or you can choose to have a little jump as you come up. Jumping, you might choose to do two squats and two jumps. You can mix it up. Okay, that's the first one. Then we're doing a squat with your feet about shoulder width apart and lateral leg raise to the side. Engaging those little inner thigh groin muscles. Get a bit slack and lazy as we age. If we've stopped playing netball and basketball and squash and tennis, touch football, those kind of things. Those muscles need to be activated. We're going to do that by the wide lateral um, raise. Then, the third one is two steps forward. Touch the floor, if you can, between your feet, wide feet. Touch down, forward and back. Make sure there's no trip hazards. Coordination is good to work on and uh, Touching the floor, mobility exercises, okay? So, that's the three. Let's begin, 25 seconds, squat, body weight squat, heel raise or jumping, okay? Your choice, your workouts. We ready? Let's go. Squatting, heels off, or jump. It's up to you. Make sure we begin down deep with that squat. Right through your heels. We've got three. Two. Last one. Rest in. 15 seconds, guys. Now, squat, leg raise. Three, two. Wait again. Squat deep. Can you get your foot up to hip heights? You're on obsession, obsession. Cannot see my possession. Possession. Breathe in, breathe out. Work it well. Five, four. Last one. Now, need some room. Two steps forward, two steps back. Touching the floor. Between your wide feet. Squat position. Three, two, go. You can walk it out, or you can do quicker. You can run it. Get your rhythm. Wide feet touch between them. We got three, two. Nice work. Again, from the top, resting, nice deep belly breathing, squat jump, or squat heels up, or normal squats.
Lower body strength. So good. Five seconds left. Come on. Nice one. Squat leg raise. Ready? Let's go. Deep breathing. We've got eight seconds, ten. Squat low, kick high. Hold up. And the last one this round. Two steps forward, touch, two steps back, touch. Three, two, go. Your pace. Side your comfort zone for maximum benefits. Four, three, last one. Recover. Let's take a few minutes, guys. About a minute and a half. I'll give you. Have some water. Just sip on the water for hydration. So now, you've done two rounds with three exercises each round. Now we're doing the next two rounds are two exercises only. They're geared towards fast action. Heart rate's up. You might even feel your mood has improved. That's not just because you're looking at the video of me, no. Those endorphins are kicking in, the blood flow to your brain. It's natural medicine, team. So, next two exercises. As you're recovering, we are double hand raise with a toe touch at the back. Double pump, arms are straight, double pump up, touch to the back with your toe. Now, add dumbbells here if you wouldn't like to. If this works on your core strength, it gets your heart rate up even more, okay? You have dumb, light dumbbells to use as well. The second one of this round is the same exercise, but we're breaking it up. We're doing four of these, three, four, for two fast, narrow footed squats. So your feet are narrow, two fast squats and go again, okay? But as I said, it's your pace, up to you. I'll be set. We've had about 90 seconds rest. We're a bit over halfway through our workout team. We ready? Go! Double arm pump, touch out. Now, four of those for two quick squats. We're doing two rounds of this, of course. Three, two. Let's go. One, two, three, four, squat, squat, and repeat.
Show you in a second, and then when, when we finish the fourth round, have a little bit of a rest, and we're going to go through all of our 10 exercises we've done, once only for 20 seconds. The final sprint home. It will sting in the tail, okay? You could pause at the end of this last fourth round if you wish, have a longer break, and then go again. If you can, stay, hang in there with me. So. This round is very simple, guys. We're just doing two each side. It's a knee pump. So I want you setting up like you're going to start a sprinting race. I've got my left foot forward, my left, right foot back. Hands here. I take my hands down to meet the pumping knee, okay? Pushing off the ball of my foot. We can add dumbbells here. Just make sure you don't hit them on your knee. And we pump fast, okay? So as I said at the start of our, at the top of our workouts, it's low impact, but high intensity. So that's not gonna hurt any bones or joints. It's gonna be good for your hip, good for your heart rate. A lot going on. Up to you how fast and what you use your dumbbells and not, okay? So, 25 seconds, right and left, and twice through, okay? Are we ready? Get your dumbbells set if you want to use them. Are we ready? Set up like this. Three, two, go. Pump that knee. I got my first real six string. Dumbbells up to Work. Recover. 
Good job, team. So, recovering for 90 seconds. Last round. Once through all those 10 exercises only for 20 seconds. You've just done 25 seconds per round. This is 20 seconds only. I'm going to give you a 13 second rest in between. In that time, I will demonstrate the next one. You wait for the ding ding to go again, okay? Have a bit of water. If you have not pressed pause, well done. If you have, that's okay. As I said, a maximum benefit out of your comfort zone, heart health, brain health, weight management. The benefits are endless. Are we ready? First exercise is our step and punch or jump and punch. In four, three, two, go. Let's bring it home, guys. Last four minutes. Step, step and punch with dumbbells. You can jump.
recover so guys well done for joining me great choice and pressing play I look forward to seeing you very soon for another heart fit workout have a great day <laughs>